very big opportunity for Wilson College with health sciences majors. You know, when you look, you know, we've studied a great deal looking at, you know, the opportunities that are out there. And that is, you know, that's a, a career field that is heavily in demand. And we've got a terrific science building, which we're going to, you know, help get more of a return on our equity. We've got a terrific science staff. So we're going to capitalize on those things. But, but you know, you don't charge into these things. You've got to get, you got to go through an approval process. You've got to get an accreditation process. We want to be sure that, you know, uh, we're spending our, you know, we're spending our money wisely as to, to which ones we take on. We have already gone through, so it's not like we're at the starting gate. We've already got, we've had a healthcare consultant come in. He has shown us different uh, majors which you know which look very promising but you know you just need to take that next step to implement it and, and, and that's where we're at right now so what we're saying with the board group today was to evaluate those health science programs okay, for implementation but that wasn't the only oh no that's no, not no, the only that's one that's not the only one you're exactly right that's not the only one Barbara, Barbara, just yeah. add a little yeah. uh, clarification so uh, what we've approved today was going forward with a feasibility study for the health sciences majors, and this was the recommendation of the, um, uh, the commission, but also the recommendation of Dean Hendrickson as well. And uh, we will continue to honor the signature programs process that Dean Hendrickson has in place and taking a look at both the consolidation of majors and taking a look also at other new signature programs. So it's nothing different than the process that's currently in place. Are there other questions? None? Can I ask three of them on sure. me? My name is Sandra Carter I graduated in 1999 from Wilson. And I don't mean any disrespect. Um, so I just want to clarify that. I have never felt this loss at Wilson ever as I do today. My, my only questions are, Wilson taught me to stand strong and stand for what I believe in. Why was the alumna not allowed to be here for this part is my first question. And B, why was it posted on the websites and everything before you were even able to tell staff and current students and let us just stand out there and find out through Facebook and the website? Because for a college that taught me honor and respect, that's not what we got today. I'm sorry. To, you know, sorry about that. I I, uh, I don't know exactly how the process was, you know, included. But you know, I mean, there is. Believe me, there is no intention, or I mean, we're very sensitive to your concerns and the, the concerns of other alumni. So um, this was not supposed to be at all uh, supposed to be disrespectful, and I hope you don't take it that way. Uh, but. Sometimes, you know, I guess it you know, maybe got lost the process or whatever, but it, is, it was not meant to be disrespectful. I think I can speak on most of them now there today that an apology is so owed because that's, that's how it came. We should do that. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Are there other questions or comments?
and I would like you to consider those things. And we do want to, you know, we do want to take things. We want to be inclusive. And, and Leslie, if I could, I would ask to really understand what does women-centered education mean in the practical sense? And how do we, how do we make sure that that is embedded in everything that we do at Wilson? And the board said that's very important to us, but we need to define and better understand what that is and how we really integrate that into the fundamental parts of, of Wilson College. Mary. When we, when we talk about what's best about Wilson College, I think we talk about the classrooms and the ways that students interact with faculty and staff. And we, we sometimes say that students are changed by their four years here and sometimes even transformed. What we forget in that equation is the faculty have been transformed by working at Women's College. And to Leslie, I would say um, the same faculty that were here before will be here next year. And we have been deeply changed by teaching at Women's College. And we will carry the values of teaching at Women's College in a women-centered and a student-centered way forward. I think you can take that with some confidence. Thanks, Larry. There are other questions or comments. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming. We appreciate it.